Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first video uh, of my new channel Delap 3D Design on which I will present you the performances of Microsoft PowerPoint for a small project. Yes, with PowerPoint it is possible to realize and design uh, small projects uh, in three dimension without any sophisticated software like uh, SolidWorks, Katia or Blender or others. Uh, of course, this uh, software, they are very complete and they provide a flexible platform uh, to design uh, uh, 3D uh, objects. However, uh, they still limited by the high cost and it takes time to uh, learn how to work on it. When compared to PowerPoint, it is available uh, everywhere around the world and uh, it is less is expensive when compared to others uh, and it is very simple to work on it of course here i'm speaking only about uh, uh, small 3d projects uh, to show and visualize items and not for manufacturing of course for manufacturing uh, manufacturing this uh, software are uh, uh, very full and complete uh, complete and they are dedicated for this kind of project so here uh, uh, I'm going to present you uh, some example that I have uh, uh, made uh, before in PowerPoint and after uh, I'll come back to you to show you uh, how, step by step how I did and I realized this project. For example, here I have three silicon substrates which are super, super imposed onto each other and are uh, separated by silicon uh, ring, rubber ring, and uh, these uh, 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 brown color are the electrical connections. Uh, and here we have uh, two corners in order to fix these silicon substrate. Here we have the uh, uh, housing of the wool system with a hole onto the top in order to leave the liquid path through it. And from the other side, we have a rubber ring with uh, another treated ring to tighten the system. So we can make this view, this view, or this view in order to visualize this project for a meeting project or a manufacturing project. So uh, here we have another example made also with PowerPoint. Briefly, here we have uh, uh, vesicles or nanoparticles in three dimension with holes, and uh, these antibiotics goes inside through these holes inside vesicles, and the same principle was uh, also used in other projects. However, here we have the antibiotics goes from inside to outside, and here we have micro electrodes that we have designed also in PowerPoint which are uh, de uh, de de devoted to detect vesicles before and after release of antibiotics. If we combine the uh, 3D uh, 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 performances of Microsoft PowerPoint with the, the animation uh, uh, already provided by Microsoft PowerPoint, we can have this nice, very nice uh, 3D presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint. So, for example, here we have um, uh, four working electrodes uh, from each side of the, this biosensor platform. We have one reference electrode, one counter electrode. We can work onto uh, uh, different materials, uh, substrate based on different materials. And uh, on the top, uh, on the top of this uh, biosensor platform, we can see a microfluidic system. Here we have the window of analysis with uh, an inlet and uh, outlet, and we can inject, uh, uh, for example, some buffers like uh, sample, uh, like uh, blood, uh, uh, plasma, or uh, artificial buffers or serums in order to detect some biological things. So. For this purpose, we can, uh, uh, for example, immobilize uh, some antibody, uh, antibodies and we can detect the presence of cytokines by here, uh, for example, we choose electrochemical impedance spectroscopy and by increasing the concentration of these cytokines or antigens, 
we can uh, see the increase of the signal. So as you can see here, uh, it is very, very, very pretty to, to show in a uh, in, uh, uh, meeting presentation this kind of 3D uh, uh, dynamic presentation. So uh, here we have uh, all process of fabrication also presented in three dimension. The process of fabrication of micro uh, electrodes onto uh, polymer substrate. And uh, here we have uh, another kind of microfluidic system, laboratory on chip. Uh, uh, here we have uh, um, micro filters in the inlet of the laboratory on chip. Here we have the window of analysis and these are the uh, uh, outlet of the micro fluidic system. So later I will show you how we can make this uh, transparency aspect when, and different view of in three dimension. So uh, here we have uh, uh, a, a project uh, uh, to design a simple presentation of the architecture of a biosensor which is uh, good to present it like this also and uh, here we have another project uh, of an electrochemical Teflon cell uh, with micro electrodes based on gold here for example here we have rubber ring and two screws and here uh, the whole the, the, the whole of the electrochemical cell so uh, here we have silver silver chloride reference electrode platinum wire by the way this is very simple to present it in uh, PowerPoint so uh, and uh, finally uh, the electrochemical cell closed and we have here the aspect uh, of transparency to show the rubber ring inside and the window of analysis so here it is a simple uh, project uh, in three dimension just to illustrate the depth effect uh, in order to uh, illustrate what we can see in same images and these uh, cell they were before in a single wafer based on silicon and we can present it like this in powerpoint in three dimension dimension and after dicing these cells to uh, individual cells, uh, uh, it could be presented like this. So here I went a little bit fast to show you uh, an overview of some examples of tree design that we can make on PowerPoint. And uh, in my next video, uh, I will show you, uh, as I mentioned before, step by step how uh, we can make these projects uh, and I try to devote for all, uh, each uh, project one video in order to see all small details that we can uh, do of in PowerPoint to realize some kind of, uh, of uh, these projects. Thank you for watching and uh, uh, if you like please share to spread the benefits and thank you, see you again, bye bye.